What's going on guys, it's Simo, and today we're gonna be cracking open a box of Dark Neostorm. Now I'm very excited for this set for a couple reasons. First off, I wanted to get it as always to support my local game store, We Play Games in Las Vegas. Definitely check them out if you're in town. But the reason I'm excited for this set especially is because it's the last set we're getting before the WCQ season. Not to mention there are some very powerful cards that I'm looking forward to pulling. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. I think what I'm looking forward to the most in getting out of Dark Neo Storm is probably just the Orcus cards in all honesty. Like Dengirsu is just like absolutely crazy. The uh, Counter Trap is really good as well, but that's a super rare. So I'm sure we should get at least one copy of that. That's probably all that we need. Um, all the secret rares in this set are actually pretty good for the most part. I mean, there's sometimes we get sets the secret rares are like kind of meh, but this time around, I actually think uh, pretty much like six or seven of the secret rares are actually pretty decent. So let's go ahead and start with the right side as all always and let's see if we can pull good so first pack of the box Alrighty, so we're just gonna get right into it. There are the uh, Valkyrie cards in here as well for uh, people like me who love the original anime. I still think it's cool that they are printing these, even though, you know, they're kind of like, eh, whatever, but it's still cool that they are printing them at the lower rarities. I definitely don't think they should be secret, though. Alright, so, oh, speaking of Valkyries, our first uh, one is an ultra-rare Valkyrie uh, Erida. So that's a brand new one, actually. I don't believe that one was from the show, but nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. And then World Legacy Guard Dragon Marduk. Mar Dark, excuse me. But yeah, I think the Valkyrie cards are pretty neat. Again, I don't like that they kind of use them to clog up higher rarities, but again, I mean, the artwork on them is pretty cool. I think it's something we can all agree on. Let's go ahead and see here. Oh, here we go. Second pack of the box, Mystic Mine. Man, this is going to be the most annoying deck to deal with, but oh man, let's see how many Mystic Mines we can pull. Let's see if we can go ahead and get lucky. Man, I am not, I don't know about you guys, I am not looking forward to play against that deck in any sort of capacity. All right, so next pack, Mayakashi Winters are super rare. Really cool artwork on the Mayakashi cards, even though I'm not particularly a fan. Oh, this is actually one of the uh, TCG exclusives, Muddy Mud Dragon. It's a level six generic synchro and actually basically allows you to like fuse using it. Like it's actually a pretty neat card. It's kind of like a, um, what's like the best way to describe it? It's almost kind of like a formula synchron, but like for fusion monsters, which is kind of neat. I think it's a really neat TCG exclusive. Kind of a shame it only got a rare printing, but I think that card actually has some pretty Pretty hidden potential. And there is our first secret rare, Nightmare Incarnation Italy. Man, the artwork on this card is just absolutely incredible. I really wish we got this card like last year when like Goki, like Extra Link was a thing because this would have been so, so good if we had it. It would just been a nice counter. But I think in the future, this card is going to have a purpose. So definitely get your hands on these if you can, especially once the prices drop. And then your in danger which is the uh, the new rare for the danger archetype the danger cards this is probably like the set that doesn't have like the most explosive danger support but i think a lot of us are actually pretty happy about that all right saryuja shackles is actually a pretty neat tcg exclusive as well it's a uh, kind of like a uh, saryuja effect-esque and a trap card kind of neat all right let's see and then we have loge's flame which is again one of those valkyrie support cards again artwork on these cards is just so nice chaos betrayer being our rare all right, so we're one secret in. I think we're also one ultra in as well. So again, want to get at least one copy of Dingir, so I think that would make me very happy. All righty. And then Memories of Hope. Draw a card equal to the number of exceed a number of number exceeds monsters with different names you control. Okay, so if you have a way to spam them, I guess that's pretty cool. Nothing like too crazy. And there's the uh, the new Medolce exceeds as well, which is actually not too bad. I don't know if you're gonna be able to spam uh, too many cards to make Memories of Hope good, but it's something, I suppose. All right, and there is our next Ultra Rare, World Gears of Thurlogical Demergy. <laughs> Man, talk about a name there. That's, um, this card's like, okay. I don't think it's like anything too special, but it's pretty interesting for what it is. And then we have a, uh, oh wow, a weather card actually, okay. Almost done with this first half of the box here. So we've gotten two ultra rares, so pretty consistent so far. Maybe we're gonna get some crazy, you know, three secret rare box, who knows? Yes, Crackdown! I was hoping I'd get at least one copy of this. This is the other hype super rare of the set next to Mystic Mine. 
this card is just so good. I mean, this, it's incredibly good. This is like, it's not like twin twisters, but like this is going to see a ton of play in a, a bunch of different rogue decks. You're going to see this card in side decks. This card is just absolutely incredible. Super Quantum White Layer is also a pretty decent card for what it's worth as well, but not as good as Crackdown, let's be honest. So I'm pretty happy we got that. I do not know how that pack just opened up. That was weird. Um, yeah, super happy to get that card for sure. All right, Neo Super Quantum Mech King Blaster Magna. Gotta love those super long, super quantum card names. Got a Valkyrie Chariot there. I believe it was called Fortune Chariot in the anime, if my memory serves, but they probably wanted to give it the Valkyrie tag just so it has a little bit more synergy with the rest of the archetype, so I could see that. Number five, Doom Chimera Dragon. I think this card is actually like pretty decent. It's not, again, it's like, the problem is it's level five, so it's not like gonna see play too often, but um, the effect is actually like not bad on it. We've definitely seen worse uh, rank five Xyz monsters. Let's put it that way. Alrighty. So second to last pack, Dirge of the Lost Dragon is our super rare. And then another Star Starling Starling. And then last one of our first side. So might not get anything else on this side. The other secret rare is probably, yeah, I figure. Destiny Hero Dominance is our super rare there. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they're still like supporting these uh, archetypes, you know, this late, even though, you know, heroes are just like ancient at this point. But I think it's neat that they still want to give those old archetypes some love. I'm always in support of uh, brand new legacy support for sure. So incantation cards. Sorry, just Shackles. World Legacy Monstrosity is our ultra rare there. Again, these artwork on this set, I really just love, there's a lot of really cool art in this set. I definitely appreciate that. So we got that, and then we have Assault Reboot for our rare. Assault Mode actually getting a little bit of support in this set, which has seen some play in the OCG as a matter of fact. It's nothing like too crazy, but it's kind of cool again that they're revitalizing these older uh, archetypes. Even Cloudians too, like that's just bizarre to me. Chain Hole is our super rare, very reminiscent of the old artwork of like Chain Destruction and things like that. It also has an effect that's pretty similar to it as well. And then World Chalice Guard Dragon uh, Almerduk, I think is how you pronounce it, is our rare in that pack. All right, so we still need a secret rare. And oh, but we got Orcus Crescendo. Oh my god. I think this might be like my favorite artwork on a Yu-Gi-Oh card of all time. This just look how fucking sick that artwork is. That is so badass. I absolutely love it. And this is probably one of the best in archetype counter traps I've ever seen for an archetype. It negates, it banishes, and then you can banish it from your graveyard to search basically any card in the archetype. Like that is just insane. <laughs> I don't know what more you could ask for. And Cynet Mining is our other secret rare. Wow, that is a definitely a good pull. I mean, that's like a $40, $45 card. Definitely something you're gonna want for your Salamangre decks or anything like that. Just an incredibly powerful card. Really nice pull there. It's pretty good. I mean, my luck in the, these past booster boxes that I've opened hasn't been too great. So looks like our luck's turning around just a little bit. No complaints there. We have a Pendulum Halt for our super and another Muddy Mud Dragon. Looks like we're about halfway. Looks like I think we have about six packs left to go. Still hoping for that Din Gear Soup. If I can pull that off, I would be more than happy. Super Quantum Mech, or Super Quantum Mech Beast Lustrix. Pretty neat artwork there. Whitefish Salvage. I can't, the artwork in this set is just absolutely incredible. I love it. Okay, Crusadia support. Another crawler. Mermaid Abyss Lacia is our other ultra rare. So this is probably our last ultra rare just because you typically get four ultras in a box. Maybe we'll break the ratio, who knows, but that's typically the case. I think it's cool now because now with Abyss Lacia's uh, release, we only are missing from Link Brain's pack one. Uh, Chris Strong Needle Fiber as a matter of fact, so maybe we'll be getting that soon. I think it's just pretty neat that we uh, finally have her in the TCG. A little bit late. I don't really think she's like incredible, but I mean, hey, for all the Mermaid players out there, I definitely don't think you guys, you guys are going to be complaining. Another copy of Memories of Hope and another Philo Messenger for Hire. 
don't know, if we could break the ratio and get one of those like five ultra boxes or three secret boxes, that'd be pretty sweet. Another copy of Mystic Mind though, I'm not gonna complain about that. <laughs> definitely an in-demand super rare for sure. So our luck on the super rares was definitely good, but again, super rares, you're probably gonna get one of everything in your box for the most part. There's not that many of them. Ratios are skewed in that favor. Fusion Destiny for our super rare there. And we uh, Dino Wrestler Synchro Monster. Two packs left. Again, don't think we should be getting anything too crazy, but who knows, you never know. We might uh, be in for a pleasant surprise. Another copy of Logis Flame and the uh, Weather Painter Trap Card. And the last pack, who knows? Maybe it'll be something crazy. And ah, uh, it's a Destiny Hero Dominance, but that's okay. Oh, that's the uh, that's the promo card from Sneak Peek, actually, the uh, Swarm Ship Ambler Whale. But yeah, overall, I actually think we did pretty good. I mean, we got two pretty decent secret rares. Actually, one very good secret rare, and one that's like good, but just not good at the moment. Um, super rares were everything I could have wanted. We didn't get the copy of Dingirsu, unfortunately, but you know, that's just sometimes how it goes. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It could have definitely gone a lot worse. So guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about this set and what cards you're looking forward to. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you found this video entertaining, consider supporting me on Patreon or becoming a YouTube channel member. Because just by showing your support in any way that you can, you're investing in my ability to continue bringing you amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So thanks so much again, and we'll see you next time.